Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Ayn Rand's birthday. She's not alive anymore, but technically this would be the day that it would be her birthday if she were still alive. So, happy birthday Ayn Rand. Um, one thing, I mean, if she were still alive, I would have to thank her for how much she has done for my life. Um, the political clarity she's provided me has been obviously tremendous, um, just because uh, it gave me a real foundation on which to base my politics, but that's not even the primary. Um, one thing Rand has really done for me is given me a much clearer view of the world, of reality, of epistemology, how to think clearly. And it gave me a higher view of myself as well, a higher view of man. It took me away, f her philosophy pulled me away from religion and gave me a higher view of man as not some being doomed to never achieve in his life, to never succeed, to never find real happiness in his life. She showed me essentially that man is a heroic being who can achieve real values in this world. Um, she replaced my very low view of self, very low view of the world with the benevolent universe premise and a view of man as a heroic being. Um, and that is something I absolutely like. That is so amazing. So had such a profound impact on my life. Um, and it was really, it began with this book, this book right here, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. This is, this book absolutely changed my life. Anybody who knows much about me has gotten in any deeper conversations with me knows this fact um and i'm sure a lot of you who pay attention to this channel know that fact as well but this book absolutely changed my life um and it was written by ayn rand the person whose birthday it is today um but her novels her all of her books absolutely changed my life um yeah she she had a way of writing these things and making making these heroes that are so worth aspiring to be and she really showed me that no you need to put your life first your life comes first your happiness is the meaning of your life happiness is your primary purpose which is something i knew implicitly all my life but constantly religion was telling me no happiness can only be achieved by completely sacrificing your happiness to other people which is the big contradiction of religion or that one should not take pride in themselves because pride is a sin as religion also said um, Ayn Rand basically threw away all of that baggage, threw away all those things. Um, but yeah, another really important book to read if you're a, if you want to read some Ayn Rand is is Atlas Shrugged. My copy is kind of torn up because I read. It took a while for me to read this book. It's a long, it's a big book, but it is definitely worth your time. Um, it really just this this book shows her philosophy so clearly, which puts everything or not really or yeah it definitely shows it clearly it concretizes it in an art form um and it's really inspiring to anyone who wants to read it but i would start with the fountainhead that is what changed my life um it's a lot more focused on like second handedness which is one thing that i definitely struggled with um constantly caring what other people think um and just the way that she shows how such a second handed ideology um basically leads to destruction in the case of Peter Keating that struck me hard that really struck me um the character of Peter Keating seemed seemed to be seemed to be what I was going to become and that was scary to me just because looking at myself I was someone who really cared what other people thought and was very second-handed in that regard and she just so clearly concretized what that means in this character of Peter Keating and showed me what I could become in the character of Roa um, because all the good things that had ever happened in my life were when I was behaving like Roa um, and essentially that led me to adopting this philosophy this life-changing philosophy that really makes me who I am today I think um, I still have flaws there's still a lot of growth to be done um, and it, this channel is a part of that but really what Ayn Rand did was really provide my, me my um, life meaning um, w and basically got rid of the mysticism that I used to use to provide my life meaning um, before. Um, yeah, because I think, once again, I'm going to say this, the West is in a bad spot when it comes to meaning. We completely abandoned religion for the most part, and we didn't really replace it with anything. It's good that we abandoned religion because mystical meaning um, is not very good psychologically because every doubt you have about it is a credible doubt because God is arbitrary. Um, and when you have a credible doubt, when you have this constant credible doubt about the meaning of life, that's not a very efficient way to live. That's going to 
leads you to doubting meaning quite a bit and having this feeling that life isn't actually that meaningful. And it, I mean, the Christians, there was a Christian, or a Christian was the father of existentialism, this idea that life has no real objective meaning. It's all subjective and you create your own meaning. That was Kierkegaard. Um, he's largely considered the founder of, of existentialism. And that is such a bad ideology in terms of if you want to actually find meaning in your life. That's largely the ide ideology that the West has accepted at this point, which is very bad to hear. Um, we, we rejected Christianity and replaced it with existentialism when we should have rejected it and replaced it with a real way to find meaning. Ayn Rand, objectivism. The greatest philosopher known to man. Um, but yeah, happy birthday, Ayn Rand. Um, if you were alive, I would be so thankful for the things that you've done. I, will, I am thankful for the things that she has done for me. Um, but if she were alive, I would have so much to say to her, so much to thank her for, because she changed my life. She gave me, she helped me find real happiness, I guess. Um, so yeah, and also one more thing um, with regards to the second-handedness and the fountainhead. A lot of people accused me of coping in that, uh, in that um, criticism video, and it was so obviously projection. Um, the fact that these people can't understand receiving this much hate and being fine, being completely fine. But the issue is I'm completely fine. Um, maybe you don't believe me, but that's on you, man. That's on you. You don't, you don't know what I know about individualism, about egoism, about how to avoid second-handedness and just be purely egoistic, purely selfish, and viewing my life as the only standard and the fact that it doesn't really matter what other people think of me. And this is the way I am. This is, this is what, this is largely, largely the cause of that. Um, other people's opinions don't matter to me at all. Um, maybe you don't get that, but read Ayn Rand and you'll find out. Um, I think the sense of life that I've gotten after these books is such a, such a big deal. Um, it's such a huge change in my life with regards to where I was before. I would not be able to make these videos if I was the way I was before. I probably would have stopped after the whole Griper um, incident, but now I can just laugh it off because it's, it's irrelevant. It only cuts so deep. And in that case, it doesn't cut that deep. It doesn't cut to me at all because it's so irrational. It's so, it's so, um, divorced from reality that it's so meaningless. Um, and that's one thing, that's basically what Ayn Rand showed me. Ayn Rand showed me that, um, in her novels. So I'm extremely thankful to Ayn Rand. Um, and happy birthday, Rand. Uh, what, how many, how many years ago was she born? Let me, let me look that up real quick. Uh, Ayn Rand birthday. It's today or tomorrow technically, because I'm recording this the day before, but Ayn Rand birthday. You're seeing this on her birthday. 1905, so she would be 115 years old. 115 years ago, a genius was born. A genius that has the ability to change the world if people really adopt her philosophy and really try to understand it. Um, most people don't. Most people conflate her with libertarianism. Most people, most people conflate her with conservatism. Most people conflate her with, apparently, neoliberalism, which was a really interesting comparison that I heard from that fucking dumbass Patrick Casey last night. Um, or, you know, Patrick Casey. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's just a lack of understanding. Ayn Rand has the potential to save the West, to bring us back to what made us great, um, to and also to make us into what we can become. That's the, that's the biggest thing, because the West has never achieved greatness. No one in the world has ever achieved greatness. But Ayn Rand's philosophy... Egoism, objectivism, it can do that. Ethics, can, this, this ethical system can do that. This epistemological system can really help us know reality. That's, that's a big thing as well. Epistemology is where it all starts. Um, or I guess reality, but epistemolo epistemology is like the, one of the biggest subjects, I guess, in this regard. Um, if, you can, if you know how to look at reality and know how to think, um, the, rest, the rest will follow. Um, if you believe that you're an, you're an individual who can use his own mind to think and use reason and that that's man's means of survival, all the rest, I mean, egoism, the idea that you need to think for yourself and act for yourself, act for your own interests and dismiss altruism entirely. I mean, all this comes, all this will, all this will come. Um, well, it, it won't be easy. It'll, it'll never be easy. But 
uh, what you need to do except except this philosophy it's it's life-changing it's so life-affirming it'll give you a it'll help you find a happy life it'll make you feel fulfilled that's and that's such a big deal it's so understated do you feel if you feel emptiness inside of you right now and i think most people do um read the fountainhead read atlas shrugged these books can help you these books will help you um and that's i mean i created this channel to help direct people to ayn rand as well um and that's that's what this i mean that's what that's what i want to do with this video um so happy birthday ayn rand and go read her book go re go start reading the fountainhead um if i know you i'll loan you a copy of the fountainhead if you want me to um but uh, i'm sure a lot of you i don't know but yeah i think that's all i have to say for today uh happy birthday ayn rand uh, thank you all for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video